guys I'm gonna do a quick product review um, this actually came in one of my boxycharm boxes I can't remember which month it was this is by pure it's the Barbie glitterly pink brightening peel off mask let's see with licorice extract green tea vitamin B and ginseng so what you do is uh, see the pink on it. I've, actually, I have it on my face right now. In just a second, I will show you. And what you do is you have to uh, clean your face. Make sure your face is clean and dry. And you just put it on and avoid the sensitive areas on your skin and let it dry. Um, so hold on a second and I will show you what it looks like on. Do I look like a Barbie girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, it is pink, and yes, it is glitter, glit, whew, glittery. So this is it. I just smoothed it on with my fingers, avoiding the hairline. You want to avoid your eye areas; those are sensitive skin areas, and avoid your lip area. And I went ahead and put some down here on my neck area. Hopefully, that will take some of the dead skin off down here as well. And I've had it on hmm, not even five minutes and I can already feel it tightening up and drying. So I will be back when it, it has dried and we'll start peeling it off a little bit. And then I'll tell you if it makes my face, my facial skin feel baby butt smooth or not. Be back. Okay, guys, I am back, and this thing is just as dry as it can be. I, ex I touched it right there, so it kind of started coming off. But look, it is just as dry as it can be. This is the fun part. I love these peel off masks, they feel so good when you go to peel them off. Let's try up here. Oh. There we go. Mm -hmm. Guys, that feels so good, I'm telling you. Oh wow, you know what I like? Okay, like number one. After the color pink, I really like the pink glitter. I like that you can peel it off and it comes off in big pieces because what I don't like about peel off masks, the one thing I don't like is if you go to try to peel them off and they just come off in tiny little pieces and you can't, oh that feels so good. And it takes forever to peel everything off. I like it to come off in Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> I like them to come off in big chunks. Let's see. Oh, I'm telling you, that feels so good. I love a peel off mask. I feel like at my age that it just gets more done than a wash off mask. Yeah, this one really. It dries. When it says it dries, it dries. It's in the creek, the cricks, <laughs> the cricks and crevices of my skin. And if you don't want to fiddle with these little small remnants, see like right here, you don't want to pick at your skin, okay, to get these little pieces off. If they come off easily, then go ahead and take them off. But if they don't, if they're really on there, then guys, don't pick at them. <laughs> Take a warm washcloth or warm rag. Look at that. I just did that with my tongue inside my lip and it came off. Yeah, I like this. I really, I, so far, I'm liking this mask because it doesn't, it clings to your skin but not so much that you f feel like the entire epidermal layer of your skin is coming off when you peel it, which I like. 
I could be in the Walking Dead spinoff. Hey, I tried. I tried. I put my resume in. I did, but I think I got that email, you know, the thank you, but no thank you. I'm too big. I just think I'm too fluffy. You know, there's walkers. They've been, uh, if you walk, watch The Walking Dead or any kind of zombie thing, if you've seen an ad pop up or pictures or, you know, zombies. Well, in The Walking Dead, they call them walkers or biters or whatever. They're, they're thin. They're skinny. Even the fat ones end up being skinny because they ain't got nothing to eat. And when they do eat, it kind of goes right through them, so... You know. I'm going to let you guys go for just a second while I clean the rest of this off my face. And I'll be back to give you a roundup of what I think of this product and whether I think it's worth the money. See you in a few. Okay, so here's my actual review. I've gotten it all off my face, put my glasses on so I can see you all. Uh, I like this product. I really do. And here's why. First of all, I love the color. The pink is very bright and girly. It has a shimmer to it, hence the name Glitterly. I like it. I live in a house full of men. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> I live in a house with my husband and three sons. And so anything that I can do to have a little bit of femininity around me, I take advantage of it. So I like the color. The other thing that I like about it is the scent, or lack thereof. This, the, it really has no scent to it, which I like, because I can't do a whole lot of scented products. They give me headaches, and I just don't, I just don't like a lot of scented products, uh, especially on my face. I like the fact that it didn't take a lot of the product to, to cover the skin on my face. A lot of times, these facial masks, you have to use a lot of the product to feel like you have a good cover on your face and feel like you get a good result. With this, I didn't feel that way. I felt like I could use a minimal amount and I got a good cover on my face. And I like that. I feel like that gives you more bang for your buck. Um, I also liked the ease of peeling it off. I didn't have to dig or feel like I would have to dig on my skin to get it off because I won't dig. I will get a warm washcloth before I do that to my skin. Uh, it came off, and you saw it, it came off in big sheets. It was very easy to peel off, I think, in comparison to some of the other peel-off masks that I've used in the past. I just, I like it. I like the results that it's given me. My skin, after wiping the, the remnants, there's a little bit of pink left there. <laughs> After wiping the remnants off, and I have not put my moisturizer on yet. I'm getting ready to do that when I end the video. But I like the feel of, the, of my skin now. It feels very smooth. It doesn't feel dry. So hopefully it's moisturized it a little bit. But I am going to go ahead and put my, my normal nighttime moisturizer on after I end the video. So all in all, guys, I'm giving this two thumbs up um in my <laughs> greater than 40 year old facial being <laughs> i would recommend this at least trying it out you can find this i looked it up and you can find it online at ulta and for the two ounce tube it is twenty dollars and it says on the back you can use this two to three times a week i would think if you had sensitive skin I wouldn't use it that often. I don't usually have time to use a mask like this that often. I probably use a facial mask, like a peel off facial mask, about once a week. That's just me. You do you. So if you decide to give this a try um, and you like it, you don't like it, you agree, you disagree, whatever your thoughts on it are, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I'm curious. Thank you so much for watching my very first product review video on my channel. Give me that big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button and choose all so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video. I appreciate you. I love you and keep being kind to each other, okay? Bye.